polluted, overcrowded, and poor, has found salvation in the untapped wealth of space. Colonies have been founded on distant planets, and a land rush, unequaled since the days of American Western expansion has begun. But there are people who want to close the door behind them. One colony, Senesor, has declared its independence, launched a fleet, and is seizing every habitable world. Earth has discovered and claimed a paradise world, Moraz. The Sinosaurians, disputing the Earth's claim, have sent ambassadors to negotiate the status of Moraz. All parties to the dispute know that if negotiations fail, war is certain. A thin line of defense, formed by the Earth's star core, stretches across the vastness of space. This is the story of one ship and the men and women who serve aboard it. drill for them. They're not even on board yet. Well, there's no point in easing them in. They're going to have to lead, lead well. Lives are going to depend on it. There's two. There's two. Got our orders. Dispatches to be delivered to Wathan Du in the 7th Fleet. But I thought you wanted to stay away from Sinisura. Yeah, but with tensions running as high as they are, every available ship is assigned. So that means we get to take a green crew and a light corvette to a hot border. The right way, the wrong way, and the Navy way. You gotta love it. <laughs> so what if they're not shooting when we get there? Well, then we beat it for the boonies and shape these rats up before the shooting does start. Trafalgar, that's a plum assignment. I'm jealous as hell. And I'm worried as hell. You know, that's out near Sinisura where the shooting is likely to start. And I dread telling my husband. I have no idea what yeah. to tell him. He'll be upset. I know. Oh, so, how are you oh, doing? Hi. So, are you nervous? Nah, it's a piece of shit. Russ, I'm back. Sinisura delegation has arrived. Just what I wanted my graduation. Damn turncoats. Now, now, kids, this is high level diplomacy. It's a privilege to be hosting our cousins from Sinisaria. I just hope they settle the Miraz issue. I wasn't planning on going straight to war. Yuki, Yuki. Oblivious as ever. Yes. Pay up, Jarheads. Attention. Thank you. First round. Right. Let's, uh... Thank you. I'm gonna play again. Let's play again. Okay. Yeah. What? You guys gotta go graduate. You gotta go graduate? Yeah. Wait a second. Hey, that's not fair. Another round. Oh, come on. Admiral Lord has served as the first lady of the Admiralty and as a commandant of this academy. Admiral Lord. I guess a career as a plumber's out of the question. Shh. During your four years at the academy, you've been trained to handle every conceivable problem. Now, you'll be asked to take that training into the real world and to handle the burden of command. Our service was created to guard and protect humans as we made our first hesitant steps into the wider universe. In our innocence, we anticipated alien and unknown dangers. Instead, we brought our dangers with us. Greed, resentment, bigotry, hatred. 
That braid on your sleeves does not place you beyond these emotions. But if you keep faith with the values we've taught you, with the honor and duty that is the Star Corps, then I think you'll be fine. God bless you all, and Ad Astra! <laughs> The planet's been described as a paradise. Aren't they all? Yes. Well, apparently in this case it's true. Earth-like conditions and a strategic location as a fold port. From Miraz, Earth will be able to launch settlement ships and colonize this arm of the galaxy. Sounds like Sinisura needs this planet. I've already sent a diplomatic mission to Earth to protest and negotiate the planet's status. The President would like to try a simpler solution military solution yes and what am i killing intelligence reports that earth has ignored our protests and rushed a colony to the planet well it doesn't seem that you have very much to negotiate how about these talks always take time and if by any chance in the interval miraz were to become uninhabited we could claim it as ours This could easily escalate into an all-out war. We consider the risk to be minimal. The Earthers are terrified of the fight. Five warships are being transferred to your command. You will have 1,500 Marines, and you will fold out from Miraz as soon as you're assembled. What I have are verbal orders. Yes. Yeah. Can you handle that? One of those missions. The orders will be cut after you fold. Convenient. So if I'm caught, I'm a rogue captain. You could always refuse the mission. If you can accomplish this and leave no witnesses, you could come out of this very well. I'm not accustomed to failure. Space-time consists of 27 folded dimensions. Now, the Kime drive allows us to fold matter and then slip it in between the cracks of those dimensions. And we disappear into null space. So we can sidestep the Einsteinian prohibition on light speed. But we can't fold radio waves, so if you send a message in the conventional way, the recipient gets it hundreds, thousands of years later. The only way we can send a message quickly is if we take it with the ship, and even that's going to take weeks or months. Tell your government to stop rattling their sabers and I won't have to worry about my son. Excuse me, I'm out of champagne. I'd hate to be the son of a living legend, especially with the C average. Family descending at 11 o'clock. Big day, huh? Yeah. You, you don't have anyone? No. You're welcome to join my mother and me. Or, I'm a scooter from the slums of buried L.A., and I don't need this crap. Uh, I was just You're trying... You're trying to feel sorry for me, Ort. And nobody gets to feel sorry for me. Tough talk from your Admiral Ort. She's a tough lady. You should have emigrated when Deirdre and I did. When you had the chance. I prefer the problems of Earth to your colony's solutions. You're just the kind of person Sinisura wanted. Gage, I know you honestly believe you're paying me a compliment, but you're not. Anyway, our resettlement program is relieving a lot of the problems you ran away from. My government wants to make sure that the kind of people you're resettling stay well away from our Confederacy. That's why we're grabbing up every habitable world. Well, you missed Moraz. 
That's what we're here to negotiate. Spoken for and inhabited. The planet's ours. Sinisera disputes that strongly. I'm folding out today. Just how strong is this dispute? I can't give you that. Times are changing that much, are they? How's Deidre? I still haven't forgotten that you said you'd kill me if I didn't treat your sister right. She's fine. Shade. Sometimes things are just going to happen. And there's nothing anybody can do about it. Do you understand? Yes, Gage. Unfortunately, I think I do. In a hurry here. Excuse me. Pardon me. Hello, sir. I'm Arden. Artificial Repair Technical Intelligence Educating System. Captain Ridna offers his compliments and request that you muster in the graduation hall. And before you present yourself to the captain, may I suggest you finish dressing? I'm Captain Rittenauer, commander of the DRE Corvette Surprise. You've been assigned to me for the first phase of your training cruise. You will report aboard at 2200 hours. We will fold out at 2215. Ridenauer served under my mother at Bayama. <laughs> You're screwed. With a one-third flunk out rate, none of us are safe. Well, look on the bright side. If we do go to war, they can't afford to wash out too many of us. You would think they could find some better way to resolve this dispute. You didn't, like, take a wrong turn on your way to MIT, did you? The Star Corps offers great opportunities for research. Okay, just so <laughs> you realize, we may occasionally have to get harsh with people. The part I liked was bigotry. Hatred. Maybe starting right now. Look what I see. Baby Star Wars. Come on, guys, let's get out of here. Sorry, we're just leaving. What? Are you guys too good to drink with us? Uh, Barkeep, can we get some cocktails for our little colonial brothers here? Independence Day came a long time ago. I don't need this. They're part of a diplomatic mission. We don't need an incident. You coming out my way, girl. But I hope you learned a lot in those classrooms. Oh, I did. There's plenty of bars. Let's just go find another one. Eh? Need Mama's permission? <sighs> no. <clears throat> well, star rats. I hope you enjoyed that little exercise in Star Corps diplomacy, because the fun is definitely over. You're mine now. During the next three years, I and subsequent captains will determine whether or not you're worth the 400,000 we've already invested in you. After today's little performance, my expectations are not high. This is Commander Sigrid Ivestadter, your executive officer. She will be responsible for educating you in our more destructive systems. So, it's just the eight of us, children. Let's hope we all get along. Questions? Dismissed. Start. Ah, glad I caught up with you before you got out of communication range. Sorry I missed the big day, son. The development of this new Foldnet turbo is driving me nuts. Oh, uh, that's all right, Dad. I know how happy you are with my career choice. That corner office at our headquarters in Rio is still waiting. And I still want to be consul. And a chest full of medals helps. If relations with Sino-Syria keep going south, you can end up with a chest full of something else. <laughs> well, the most they've managed to do so far it's buddy my lip. Don't worry. Give my love to mom and sis, okay? Will do. Locked 
Locked on target. Permission to fire. Fire. brought aboard to answer questions regarding an illegal settlement on a confederacy world. What? What are you talking about? Baraz. Baraz is ours. There's nothing illegal about it. We need information about the colony. Starman third class. Jonathan Pierce. Serial number 037257. A hero. If you cooperate, I can offer you resettlement on any world in the Sinosurian Confederacy. Does that include Miraz? Naturally. No thanks. Starcore personnel have been conditioned to die. Drugs are used in interrogations. Not a problem. The drug I've given him will stimulate the neural cortex. Its sole effect is to make the visions even more real. And I'm very creative about what he will see. DRE surprise, you're cleared for takeoff. Proceed direct to Sector 5, Alpha Foxtrot. Ship speed plus 4 until 500 miles clear. Truck approaching for landing. Roger. 500 miles clear, sensor contact on track. Ms. Dundee, prepare to fold. Aye, aye, sir. Mr. Battles, lay in a course for the 7th Fleet. Navigation coordinates entered, sir. Very good. Run flight program and activate the fold drive. Entering fold in three seconds, sir. solution would have worked, but you overlooked something. I could have used the fold net to shunt the overload and save the core. Good night, Julian. You say there that it's a 260-year trip to the next gas station? 
You need a sword. Talk. <laughs> Next time I will. Next time I'll stay in bed. Speaking of bed. Mort. Hi. Listen. You might want to reread the regs so you can be useless next time, too. Oh, and your wisecracks were so helpful. Well, they had the charm of being amusing while good old Ken here. Leave him alone. Meg. Oh, I see. Yeah, first Mama Admiral, now Mama Meg. Oh, and I suppose your daddy's billions don't constitute an advantage? Meg, please. I think we need to settle this, huh? Oh, great, great. Go boil your heads in testosterone. Pretty good, Lord. Pretty good. I say that's enough, huh? Let's go. Come on. You're doing good. Pretty tough. The honor's been served. Find a way to climb out of your own skull. You can get out. Otherwise, I'm the only exit. Starman, third class. Jonathan Pierce. Zero one zero three seven two five seven. Some pain, sir. So, what are you doing? Well, you should have seen the other guy. Yeah? Not a scratch. Beat it, rivet head. Yes, ma'am. I was leaving anyway. How'd you find out? Meg told me. <sighs> Probably think I'm not too bright, huh? Well, I don't know about the underlying guy thing that drives it, but I admire guts. Back at the bar, how did you know? About the gun? I'll watch. Uh, look, I'm sorry. I mean, I know that sounds awful. No, no, I'm usually cooler than that. I just, it brought back some old memories. From the Marines? No. You ever been to L.A.? Well, to the platforms. Then you haven't seen L.A. Buried L.A. Guys hunting packs down there. My mother was 14 when I was born. She was dead by the time I was nine. I made it to 16 before they caught me. Long party time. <laughs> Once was enough. So I realized I had to get out of there. So I lied about my age and enlisted. Well, you better get some sleep. Oh, and by the way, Ort, I don't mind you watching me. Get 
get it off. I'll get it off. Perhaps there's something you want to tell me. Stun. Pierce. Really shouldn't make me angry. Helpful. I was counting on a civil servant. I couldn't expect him. You should have been monitoring his vitals more closely. Not just push him into heart failure. What now, sir? We go to Miraz blind. We're out of time. Nice try. Absolutely. You've got to lose sometime. Impressive amount of time to be spending in pleasure net. Begging the captain's pardon, but I don't see how my off time is any of his concern. Oh, really, Mr. Bellis? Allow me to clarify your position. You're an ensign in the Star Corps under my command. Your life is mine. I understand you've expressed a desire for command. Yes, sir. Let me give you some advice. Spend your time with friends, not pleasure wear. Captains lead isolated lives. It's necessary in order to maintain that godlike air of infallibility. But it gets damn lonely. Dismissed. Oh, one more thing. You might want to try and make some. Sir. Friends, Mr. Vallis. Friends. <laughs> Mr. Jackson, Mr. McGiddy, toddle on down the gunnery. Who's done the rockets? I yes, sir. Vallis put out a call. See who might be listening. Oh, I'd say just about half a million sinisterns. Anything's possible, Mr. Vallis. That's uh, our sir. Very good. Send an acknowledgement. Mr. Jackson. Miss McGinney. Stay alert. Standing by. Sir? Codes can be broken or stolen, Mr. Ort. I prefer to keep my finger on the trigger till somebody offers me a drink. It's the Trafalgar, Admiral Wathandu commanding, and he wants you aboard immediately. <laughs> that sounds ominous. 
Charlie's just eager to see my happy face again. Miss Dundee, Nessus. And you, my children, may partake of any offered hospitality, but don't get too comfortable. I doubt our stay will be that long. Walker Tower here is surprise 100 miles at Vector 60 for docking. Roger, surprise. Proceed inbound. Expect Pad 1. Roger, surprise is a beam for docking. Pad 1 in sight. Roger, clear to dock. Ridnour, the Admiral sends his compliments, if you'll follow me. Very well. My God, you look wrong. What the hell? Let's all go down to the officer's ward and I'll buy you all a drink. Thanks, but I've got friends aboard. They all do. Now come. Where are we going? Hopefully someplace where the booze is cheaper. Free seemed pretty cheap to me. Yeah, but you'd put up with their pompous flagship officer BS. Allie, you're the soul of tact. Oh, I didn't mean you, Joe. <laughs> of course you didn't mean that, Allie, but I'm a flagship officer now. I won't forget. Your dispatch. You look well. Babysitting. I'm a shadow of my former self. <laughs> you could have had my job. <laughs> No, no thanks. I'll stick with the kids. <laughs> Shade, I've requested permission to place a garrison at Moraes. Denied. The sinners have stated that such a move would constitute an act of war. They want to negotiate a settlement. Damn politicians think we can duck this fight forever. The folks on Moraes have to be told that we're leaving them defenseless against any Sinister an attack. Also, a courier came in from Busted Hopes three days ago. The mail ship never arrived, and one of those stops was Mariah's. See if she's broken down out there. And then, report back to me. Maybe we should just give them a raz. Never thought I'd hear those words come out of you, Charlie. Hell, we found it first. Finders, keepers is an honored tradition among humans. So is stealing something, fair and square. Watch your back, Shade. gonna make it, is he? I served under Admiral Lord. An extraordinary woman. I'd rather not be the one to tell her that her only child isn't gonna make the grade. I assume that's the attitude all his professors took, too. I just wonder if anyone is ever gonna have the balls to wash him out. I didn't say I wouldn't. I said I'd rather not. And it's up to you, Commander, to see I don't have to. Aye, aye, Captain. Burning the wick of it short, Ensign. Would you relax? You know, it's never gonna work, Ort. You can study until doomsday. Coral Sea, Inchon, or to Biyama, you're never going to find the answers. Because they're not here. They're here, and here, and sometimes here. I'm going to do you a big favor, Ort. 
I'm going to free up all this time for sleeping. Reading extreme gravitational tides, sir. How close can we get, Mr. Ballas? We'll have to unfold at the edge of the star system. Dundee, drop us. Uh, sir, it's an obvious window. Delay that. You concerned about an ambush, Mr. Orton? So am I. But the gravitational pull of those two giants limit our options. We can't afford to get too far off from the rats. Well, if there is a problem, I think it'd be better if you were in here with us. Well, I'm really touched, Jackson, but uh, you don't need any more hand holding. And I really need to be in gunnery control. So you can override if we screw up? No, so I can increase our firepower. This is insane. They're expecting a fight. Jackson, get in. Stay alert. All systems armed. Ensign Dundee, deactivate fold. Yes, sir. Corvette just unfolded in quadrant 22. Damn, we don't need a witness. Charge our weapon systems. Send a certain cruisers, Captain. Scan for weapon steps. They're hostile. They're moving to intercept. Evasive maneuver. Follow to strike formation. Sir, why don't we fold? We can't fight in fold. Nobody can fight in fold. We'd be safe in fold. Cigarette? Cigarette, come in. She's gone. Vectors, Mr. Ballas. Tight as a bolt hole. All vectors are covered. We took a serious hit. Targeting's down, sir. You can fly this bird like your life depended on it. I'll be in it. Surrender. I don't believe they've offered us the option.
Kim, we can't hold him. Not with two. We can't. What's the composition of us? Come on, come on. Right, right. Uh, nickel, iron, and some carbon. Damn, we need a snowball. I think it's got three moves. Let's see him. Frozen methane, ammonia, traces of water. That'll do. Totally, well, of course. Meg, can you make it look like we're crashing? I think I can handle that. I just won't compensate for the fact that we don't have any port thrusters. Allie, Phil, what's your situation? Bad. Losing power to lasers, and there are too many of them, and they're too close for missiles. All right, look, just hang in. We're trying to stunt here. Where's the captain? Captain Rittenauer is dead. That'll do. I need you to rig an explosion, okay? It's gotta be a good big one, a surprise size explosion. Wait a minute. Huh? What are we doing? We're convincing the Sinister Arms we're dead. We're not? No. Not yet. Open a communication link? No. We don't know what we're here for. Take us down for a recon screen. That'll do it. Enemy ship has been eliminated. Resuming course to Moraz. Tully, those bastards still out there? No, they're turning away. Just remember, they can still come back. Hey, guys! Systems are dropping all over the ship. I think the main computer core is heading south. What? There's no alarm. So the thing is too damn dumb to yell for help. Look, I can fix this, but not in time to save the data. Can we back it up? It would take too long to transfer to disk. <laughs> Wait a minute. Artie, get over here! Ma'am? Wipe all non-essential performance programming so he can link directly to the main computer core. You realize, ma'am, I will no longer be able to see to the comforts of the crew. And while my functions aren't glamorous, they do serve... Shut up, Metal Mouth. We need your memory wires for more important things. I'll be on the bridge. Shutting down auto function. Good job, Dendi. Neither Tully or I could have flown this bird like you did. My trajectory was a little... Oh, Meg, come on. We're alive, huh? That was a great landing. Where's Tully? I don't know. He lit out of here the minute we were down. I'll find him. 
Um, we need to arrange a funeral. I'll handle it. Sir. Sorry to intrude, but I kind of need you right now. It's not a drill, is it? No. We're screwed. What's the matter, Val? It's too tough for you? Yes! Yes, I consider Hopeless pretty damn tough, Ort. We're a bunch of rats here! That's right, Val. Stay here, huh? Be a hero in your own private fantasy. <laughs> Crew muster in the wardroom in 15. We need you, Tully. The ship has always been very dismissive of my abilities, referring to me as the parlor maid. Well, she'll sing a different tune when she's restored to function and discovers I'm the one who held her programming. Great. Appliance rivalry. How do I get myself in these situations? I got the captain's body moved. What about Commander Ivestatter? Nothing left to bury. The shot ripped the pod right off the ship. Sorry I'm late. I was uh, using the captain's access key to see if there was something that might help us in our present dilemma. Nothing. So, it's up for grabs. No, Ort. You saved our butts once. Now we want you to keep doing it. Agreed. Agreed. Then it's decided. Ken's the captain. So, where do we begin? Repair the ship. Damage reports. The ship's main course should be back online in about 12 hours. The worst problem is the main thruster. We bent it landing. It'll take an EVA to repair. I'm worried whether or not we're airtight. We took a lot of hits. We lost two lasers when the main pod went. Other than that, we're in reasonable shape to fight. To fight? This is nuts. I am not going to sit around and play space cadet to the Admiral's little boy. Get toasted while he tries to win himself a medal. What are you talking about? Surrender. That's the right choice in this situation. Brace on me. Thanks. So what's going on? They're all running around making repairs. So we can do what? So we can go home. Or back to the fleet. Are you sure? Tully, you know I'm right. We're just ensigns, star rats. We can't handle this. What if Allie's right? I'm telling you, Ork can't wait to fight that squadron. He wants to prove something to his mother. He's gonna prove it by getting the rest of us killed. Ork wouldn't do that. Ork's been marching around here like he's the first lord of the Admiralty. you help me, we can take him. Look, 
Ward's done a pretty good job so far. Let's just watch him. Ensign Dundee? Yes? Although you did not inquire, I have a function that you and Mr. Ort might find useful. Okay. I can access the ship's cameras and act as a conduit for images, sending them back to either you or Ensign Ort. Here, watch the screen. There's Tully, busy as a bee. Yuki, Ensign Ort, and of course the gunnery pod. Wait, 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 stop, stop. Have you been doing this all along? Of course. It's one of my many functions. Well, no wonder the captain seemed to know everything. Why are you telling me this now? So you can monitor Mr. Jackson. Artie, I can't do my job if I've got to spy on my shipmates. We've got to trust one another. But you don't trust him, do you? So as we are born of the fire and the stars, so may we return to that eternity. what we should do. Let's just return to the fleet and report back. Look, that center squadron is two weeks away from Miraz. So what? They have ODP for protection. Those orbital defense platforms are pigs. And as slow as those Sinister and cruisers are, they can still dodge an ODP. They can't dodge us. Those are Saber-class cruisers, heavily armed, designed to carry a lot of Marines. We're five times faster. Your point being? That we're it. We can't just abandon the colonists on Miraz. We've got to face that squadron. We were ordered to Miraz, having arrived and found a situation we've got to deal with. Look, nobody would fault us. 25,000 of them, Tully. Families. Kids. What the hell? Let's do it. Graduating brilliantly, if posthumously, beats flunking out. Let's do it. You're going along with this? Yes. Let's do it, people. ETA Mraz in five days, 14 hours. If they detect us and the colony scatters, our missiles aren't going to be of much use. We don't want to leave the planet uninhabitable for our settlers. No one would believe that we're coming in to exterminate them. They won't run. And if they do, the Marines can earn their pay. My initial reconnaissance has indicated that I can make these repairs. If that analysis is incorrect, however, we'll need a crane and a crew. So once you get the kink hammered out, we'll try a quick burn. Yeah, just make it very quick. We don't want to melt away too much of the snow covering us. All set? Okay. The patch has got to be smooth. If not, we'll get an ion cascade and destroy the ship. We should get out of the snow as quickly as possible. The extreme low temperatures combined with the chemical makeup of the snow could crack our suit seals. Hasn't that kid figured out that we don't want to hear about every possible disaster? She's an engineer. Well, we're in the main thruster now. Doesn't look too bad. Somehow it looks worse through Artie's camera. Okay. Artie, once you finish patching up, why don't you check the outside for damage? Considering done, sir. 
We'll hot water the electricals. Shouldn't take too long. Yes, sir. Artie, watch where you point yourself. Sorry, ma'am. I forget they're only flesh and blood. <sighs> okay. launch code please. What are we going to do with him? I don't know. I don't know. You're Mr. Big Guy with the regs. What the hell do the regs say? In such instances where a tribunal of flag officers cannot conveniently be convened, a commanding officer may hold an ad hoc hearing, and if the evidence supports a belief that the individual offers a danger to ship or crew, well, the death penalty must be applied. I know what you want. I can't do it. We've been classmates, shipmates. I'm gonna keep them locked up and hope for the best. With respect, sir, that is just not acceptable. All the time I'll be waiting for him to get loose and come after me again? I can only fight one enemy at a time. 
Then we use the ship's cryo unit. This is crap. That's for medical emergencies, and there's only one cryo unit. Ken, you're trying to find the clever solution. Sometimes there isn't one. Sometimes it's just hard. Jackson tried to kill three of us. And he dishonored the core. These proceedings are to be recorded. Recording, sir. Come to order. When the engines began cycling, I went to the bridge where I found Ensign Jackson attempting to. He was launch. aware that Mr. Ort and Miss Fujisaki were present. Had the, the engines thruster. fired, Mr. Ort and I would have been incinerated. He disregarded a direct I order. I found Mr. Jackson choking. I believe his intent was to kill me. Do you wish to make a statement in your defense? My only mistake is that I didn't get all of you. You're all so eager to die. So follow him. Captain, down the glory road. It's a dead end. What is the decision of the board? The vote must be secret. Guilty? Not guilty. We all know the consequences. Which one of you is going to shoot me? Remove the prisoner. Secondary engines. Aye, aye, sir. And lift off.
Stand by, Gunnery. Aye, aye, Skipper. Now find him for me. Scanning. Shouldn't be too hard to catch them before they reach Moraz. We've got the same amount of power and half their mass. Catching them is the easy part. Well, what do we do once we've caught them? Captain? What do you mean they didn't burn enough ordnance? They shot us loose from our moorings. With lasers. Lasers are cheap. They hoarded the good stuff, the big stuff, the stuff that can crack us like an egg. Okay, okay, so how do we get them to use the missiles? And not hit us. It's a shame the system is so clean. At Mustard Sea, the colony planet is buried in the midst of debris. Even supply ships carry missiles to demolish the rocks and clear a path. What if we could take the debris to them? What? Oh, the system has an asteroid belt, lots of rocks. <laughs> okay, so we're just supposed to get a really long rope and lasso them in? Exactly. I mean, we could use some of the tokamak technology from the late 20th century. A series of magnetic fields to create a sack. You could do that? It would take some modification to the full drive, but yes. We'll go do it. Internal visuals. See if you can get a name and number off that ship. I want to know who I'm up against. We won't see them again. They'll run for help. No. They're two weeks from the nearest fleet and a month from Earth. They're going to try and keep us away from Eras. He's got advantages. He's faster. More maneuverable. But now we know he's out there. So, how does it look? Pretty good, pretty good. Generally, a Sabre class carries seven missiles per cruiser. For a total of 35. And ship register them firing 23. Which leaves about 12 that we gotta dodge. Unless each ship has eight. You're such a spoil sport. Sorry. Hey, still not bad for amateurs, huh? So, what's the next trick? There's a comet on course towards Moraz. We'll hide in the comet's tail, wait for the sinners to pass, and we'll jump them. A nice, dirty little ambush. Reactor fusion mass reserves 78%. It's registered as the Democratic Republic ship Surprise, commanded by Captain Shade Rittenauer. It's primarily a courier and training vessel. Damn it. It won't look good back home to report we've lost a ship to trainees. Break out or reserve missiles. Sir, we need something for the planet. We've got Marines for the colonists. Missile storage bay, break out all reserve missiles. I'm going to demolish this Rittenauer.
these bastards are trying to do the same thing we are, hide in the head of the comet so it'll mask their approach to morass. I'll tell you one thing, I don't think they're gonna be too happy to find us here first. You sure they can't read us? I'm positive this comet is really anomalous. Instead of being just ice, its head has a core of nickel and iron. Okay, because you know what happens if they see us first. Yeah, we're it. Shove it, Vals, I got one shot. Now. Aye, aye. Don't everybody congratulate me all at once. There's still two more to go. I think we just shot our wad of brilliant ideas. Uh, permission to get really depressed. Denied. Think, don't mope. I'll be in my quarters. I think better in my pleasure where. Do you mind if? If I join you? Wear. But I also feel so stupid that my brain can be so easily fooled by my eyes. I mean, I know none of what I see is real, but I still believe that... That's it! You're a genius. Sir, our missile reserves are seriously depleted. We should withdraw. Your recommendation is noted and rejected. We're left with only 600 Marines. It should be adequate. There are over 17,000 discs on the mail ship from Moraz. Those are pretty lousy odds. Civilians. We don't know that. I'm not returning to Sinasura. I haven't gotten no closer to Miraz than 120 million miles. Dismissed. She makes some valid points. I'm just not certain we should be risking two more ships. Bridge? Yes, sir. Set a course for Omicron. I'm going to drop out of sight for a while. They'll be forced to take up a position over Miraz, and they can't withstand a broadside from two cruisers. The planet's a powerful radiation source. We'll skim the rings and blind our pursuers. See right through this. They've got sensors more sophisticated than just eyes. No, they won't. The planet's a signal source, throwing out radiation all over the spectrum. It's playing havoc with their sensors. They're going to have to rely on their eyes. And what they're going to see are Earth ships. That radiation has also blinded my target. Where? You've still got the outside cameras to aim your shot. Better get a chapter if I pull this one off. Okay, Vallis. Now. Where the hell were they hiding? Get us out of here. Okay, Dundee, slide us in. Beginning, you've got about five seconds before we lose the illusion. It was a hot. Detecting a targeting scan. Apocalypse, watch your flank. <gasps> it's a good shot. I'm gonna get inside of here quick. Captain's down. Artie! Uh. Are you all right? 
Fine. Fujisaki, I thought we were supposed to be faster than these guys, huh? We are. We're just not faster than light. <laughs> What the hell is that? Tell me he's been hit. What, bad? I'm okay. Come on, we're faster than you. Give it up. Give it up. <gasps> yes! They're turning back. <laughs> well, what now, sir? Put us on high burn for morass. They use the thick gases of the planet as a screen and their lasers like a projector. If our scanners had been operable, we would have seen this for what it was. Smoke and mirrors. One. What? That's it. Us. One ship against a colony. One problem at a time. I first see that Earth ship dead. What's our present weapon status? Three missiles and plenty of lasers. She'll be ample if you do your job properly. Yes, sir. Let's get this over with. can gets toasted, and then I get worked on by a toaster. My programming exceeds the knowledge that a mere human physician possesses, sir. Well, your bedside manner really stinks, Artie. <sighs> get lost, appliance. Aye, sir. It's wonderful. Only one what? left. Uh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, sorry, uh, sorry. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I told you that time and pleasure I would pay off. You got a way to hit them without getting hit back? Well, not immediately, but... Well, there must be something. We'll go to Mraz and wait for them there. Whoa, whoa. You're talking about a broadside to broadside engagement? We're a Corvette. They're a cruiser. <laughs> That's suicide. We never expected to make it this far. Listen, we're about a day out of Miraz and probably half a day ahead of the centers. Maybe we should take some time and record messages for our families. Governor, it's a full cruiser complete with Marine Brigade. We'll do our best, but they outmass us by several hundred thousand tons. We'll surrender. Um, sir, the only way Sinisura can make a formal claim on the planet is if it's uninhabited. You mean they would just kill us all? Is there any chance to evacuate your children? We've got a couple of shuttles to service the platform. They carry 12 people maximum, and they don't have full capability. Is there anything we can do for you? We're almost out of missiles. Can we cannibalize your ODP? There are no missiles on the platform. We, we placed an order, but there was some mix-up and... Uh... That's all right, Governor. We'll just do the best we can. Good luck to you all. I don't believe this. They dump these people in a war zone, provide them with a defense system, and they don't pack the bullets. The sinners don't know that, though. They'd waste at least one shot on the platform. Oh, well, that's a ray of sunshine. All right, people, it's your stations. Well, it's been memorable. Closing the strike range of orbital defense platform. On my order, fire on platform. Sir, the fact it's not firing... Damn you. 
I've been suckered once too often on this mission. Wasted. Hi, sir. Firing missile. Disabled. Let's take it to be sure. Meg. 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 God. Is she going to be okay? I think so. Well, why'd you leave your post? Sir, we have nothing left to fight with. Even our lasers are gone. Hi, where's Yuki? Over there. Buried in the debris. We've got a cascade failure in the fold drive. I've got the seal up in there. Hey, Engine Bay! I'm coming! Poison all of you. Hurry. Bring us to heading 2737. Let's finish this! Come on, man, you bear it. Get her to the crowd unit. Now. All right, they're still the ship. Take the help. How much fuel have we got? Enough for a 30-second burn. Fire all port thrusters and send us into that flagship. Sir. Do it. Lock 
targeting weapon systems. Get us out of here! <laughs> Our hearing will have to be convened regarding the court-martial and suicide of Vincent Jackson, but overall, um, a job well done. Sir, what is our current status with Sinna, sir? The diplomats are calling this an unfortunate incident. So no war? No. It sure seemed like a war from where we were sitting. How did you know to make like the cavalry, sir? Ridnow and I were classmates and shipmates. When he didn't report, I figured he'd run into something ugly around Marias. So you guessed? A time-honored military tradition. <clears throat> uh, yes? Sir, we're heroes now. Maybe the Star Corps can just dispense with the rest of our training. Gazette, U.S. Lieutenant J.G.'s maybe right here on the spot. Something like that. Did I hear you say... something like that? Lieutenant? <laughs> Thank you, sir. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. You earned it. Congratulations. We have an extra one here. Uh, Miss Fujisaki, sir, she's still in sick bay. I'll see that she gets it, sir. Oh, uh, thank you. Now, if you'll pull your kid and your Artie off the surprise, we'll put her in tow and send her on a sun scuttle. Say something. Sir, with all due respect, we'd prefer to take her home. I'll take it under advisement. Got your star, Yuki. Next time we do this, I'm gonna ask for a captain's. <laughs> Captain on deck. Captain Jacob Aaron. My orders. Sir. We're making repairs, sir. I'm sure you can use Miss Preston. I've been assigned to you until Yuki gets back on her feet. Just a reminder, if Jordan ever found out what you were doing with his wife... The surprise has been attached as a scout vehicle to the Trafalgar. We'll be filling up our crew from the ranks of the flagship. But I wanted to get Lieutenant Pressler aboard right away. Yes, sir. McGinty, Pressler, I would like to inspect engineering and gunnery at 1100. Aye, Aye sir. sir. Um, sir, I'll have to remove my kit from the... from your quarters. I'm sure one of your friends can see to that. Come on in. It's gonna feel strange, giving it up. Isn't it? Yes, sir. It is. So, why don't you take us home? Yes, sir. Ms. Dundee, prepare to fold. <laughs> 